afternoon. <laughs> um, at least if you're in central Kansas, it is hot. Um, but we are so glad you're here hopping on with us this afternoon. We have a mishmash of a show for you today with um, just some pretty fun things going on. So let's see who is hopping on. Miss Jerry Castor, you were the first one on today. Good to have you here. Um, let's see, Miss Lisa Caldwell is right there. Connie Grennan is there. Miss Velma Gertzen is here. Teresa is on this afternoon. Pam is on. Jana Montana is here. Cheryl Sanders. Uh, Miss Joni Weeks is here. Melinda says hi again. And uh, there's also Cindy Nagel. Good to have you on. Cindy Parcell is on. Hello, hello. Miss Joe Unruh is here, and we're so glad to have you. Glad you're um, spending time with Mr. Everett. Lori Jones is here, and Carol Barbo. Diane Elder is here. Miss Linda Finan still is on, says hello. Vicki and the AA ladies. Uh, Benita, she says uh, hello on this wonderful hot day. It's my kind of summer. And I know Benita must have passed that on to Serena, her daughter, because they love the hot weather. Connie is a hot weather lover. And I think kind of the rest of us are like, oh, bring on the fall. <laughs> so, um, Kay Friesen is here. And uh, Jerry says, love mishmash shows. Well, we, we definitely have mishmash for you today. Uh, Vicki is on this afternoon. Hello to you, Vicki. Susie says, I love a great mishmash. <laughs> there is Pam Dick. She says, hello all. Um, Jan says, hello again. Is it you I'm looking for? Yes, yes. <laughs> well, we're glad to have you on, Jan, as well. Good afternoon to Arlene and Miss Mary McMahill. Um, Anne says, hello, darlings. Uh, let's see, Charlotte is on this afternoon, and Susan says, red, white, and blue, a great day. Hi to all the Adrian's girls. Cece says, uh, good afternoon to all of you. All the U.S., I think she said. Joe said, I love the variety of a mishmash. And Jana says, bring on the fall. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Cindy said, always a great show. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, good afternoon to you, Vernita, and I, I'm wondering if it's warming up there in Wyoming. Um, we're, we're expecting that rain to come our way. Sometimes I feel like the weatherman. We're just watching the nation, seeing what's happening everywhere else, and seeing if, if it'll come our way. Um, Pam says, Jana, I agree, can't come fast enough. If you hear a little uh, background noise, <laughs> the girls are... are doing some construction projects here in the store so deconstructing projects so uh let's see roxanne it says good afternoon i'm baking on this hot day uh we're baking but not in the kitchen <laughs> so uh let's see kelly said hello just heading back to moundridge from the train ride in abilene grandkids had a blast i love that i love that Bernita said they're at 66 degrees right now. My kind of weather. Bernita said we do need that rain, absolutely. And Jana says I'm already tired of the heat. Yeah, it is just a pretty oppressive at times. Cindy said the grands are coming tomorrow, so very fun. Um, let's see, Bernita said it's supposed to get up to 74 degrees there. <laughs> that sounds so, so good. I think it's a hundred or, or more today here. Um, there's Pam Dick. Let's see. Lana says, 4th of July decorating this evening in pre prep for the golf cart parade throughout the neighborhood tomorrow morning. I love that. Don't you love small town America? It's just awesome. Roxanne said, using up zucchini, Carrots and apples, it makes for yummy bread. Yes, that sounds delicious. We planted our zucchini late, so we are we don't have zucchini yet. But um, we're having good uh, cucumber production right now, and just we're just sharing whatever we get in a day. We just share it out to, to different people. So Jerry says, I love 66 degrees, absolutely. Cindy said, uh, heading to Wichita to get sweet corn at Gaddert's for supper. Yes, ma'am. To go along with the red um, snapper my husband caught on his fishing trip. Awesome. He brought home four kinds of fish. 
Oh, love that. Put that out on the grill. It will be so good. So good. Uh, let's see. Sounds delicious. Connie said, Kelly, both of you cleared your calendar for next Thursday morning. Thank you for bringing that up. I did make an official invite. So next Thursday, the 6th of July, we'll be getting together for breakfast at the Mustard Seed. Whoever can come. I'm not sure if we'll have a little small group um, or a big group. I know Joan and I will be there for sure. <laughs> so so uh, would love to have you come if it can work out for you. Uh, we love to get together here on the lives every day, but even more than that, we love the real life person meetups that, um, that we've come to look forward to. And then later in the month, and we don't have a date yet, um, we're, our next dinner and a movie night is going to be to go see the movie, the Barbie movie, which is, we know, it's going to be a, <laughs> you know, it'll be a silly movie, but silly is good. We like that. And we are the Barbie generation. Uh, we're the ones that played with Barbies back in the 60s, 70s, and I know they're still popular today, but um, I think it will be fun for us, for the older Barbie crowd. Uh, let's see, Vernita said 84 tomorrow, 86 on Saturday, perfect motorcycle riding weather. Nice. Um, Cindy said I'm going to make a zucchini tomato casserole, and uh, uh, I love that, Cindy. Um, and I'm sure we'll be having some of those down the road here a couple weeks. Uh, Jenna said I need some tomatoes, and I don't have any, to I have green tomatoes, but I don't have any that are ripening yet. Roxanne, I'll be there for breakfast. Woo woo! Love that, Roxanne. Glad to be there. And Miss Velma said, I'll join you. I should probably write it down. <laughs> I always do this and then. Okay, we've got you both. Uh, let's see. Vernita said, We're riding up to the Veterans Home tomorrow to do our annual barbecue for the residents. That's awesome. Uh, let's see, Connie says, Joe, can you go Thursday morning? Well, we'll have to see. And Cindy says, count me in, so I'll write you down. Yay, looking forward to it. Uh, Cindy said, got my watermelon cut up and in the fridge. I've picked some good ones here lately. Um, ours aren't, we don't have any watermelons yet, but again, we, we uh, did it late. <laughs> we did it late. There is Chi Chi. Good to have you on. Jerry says she's babysitting her grandbaby next Thursday, and we understand that. Um, let's see. Kathy both said jumping on late got busy doing ironing and laundry, and that all just has to be done as well. Uh, Chi Chi said installed an outdoor light earlier. Easy project, but so hot. Oh my goodness, you are industrious. Kathy says, Jerry, shoot, I was hoping to meet you. And uh, Roxanne says, can't wait to see everyone again. Yes, love, love that you're down. And Connie says, put me down. I'll put you down, Miss Connie. Um, Jerry says, Kathy, maybe I can make the movie. We'll, we'll let Patty get through her move, and then we'll come up with a date. It doesn't launch till July 20th, so we've got a little bit of time. <laughs> Uh, let's see. And Connie says, Roxanne, looking forward to seeing you. Love that. Well, ladies, I'm going to close my eyes and we're going to see where we land here today. We're going to do a little giveaway. There we go. Where did I end up? <laughs> Miss Vernita. Vernita is going to get a spin. Okay, here we go for Bernita. Woo! Woo! Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars going to Bernita. Doesn't get much better than that. Awesome. <laughs> Very good. And let me get back to my back to my beginning. Hello, Miss Lisa. Good to have you popping on here today. Love that. 
and uh, Abby says your money is in so Bernita you can shop and says big money big money there we go okay there is LaRue she says congratulations as well so let's see Alrighty, well we have our classic um, Swedish dish cloths, which if you've been on very long, you know it's a product that we love. I love it personally, I have it in the house, have them in the camper, and they are just nice and compact. They last a long, long, long time. They're completely biodegradable uh, when you're done with them, but this takes the place of like, I, I read one time 17 rolls of paper towels till this one will die. Uh, but they're a great item. We marked them down. They were $6.99. We marked them down to $4.99, but your coupon will still work on it. So a great time to pick some up for gift giving. This is an item that you can fold it in half, put it in a birthday card, send it as a little gift to a friend. Also great to just put in a hostess gift, in a gift for a bridal shower but especially just pick up a few for yourself because they do wear out eventually. And um, let's see, Kathy Both, I better put you down. It looks like you're planning to be there and I missed it. Yay, excited. Uh, the code for today, Pam, is June. It is the last day to use that code, but June. Cindy says, I love my Swedish dish cloths. Yes, they are awesome. I am gonna go through them quickly because we have lots of styles and they're each on a separate uh, scan, I believe. Whoops, hold on, there we go. Then next is our tomato vine, perfect here for summer. Next we have the hibiscus. I always think of Lisa when I, when I show that one. Then sweet, we've got all the summer ones right here in a row. The sweet corn, perfect for this time of year. Uh, again, we've marked these down to $4.99, great price. Then this next one is a map of the US and it's all personalized by state. So this is a good one to put in with a, with a gift for someone maybe that's, you know, not in our area. Next for our kitty lovers, We've got three little cats. There you go, Miss Chi Chi. Next we have poppies. Beautiful, if you love red. Jenna said, I got one of those in my Christmas bag. Love that. Next is um, stripes in a floral. I think that's very classy looking. Uh, sold 107. I'm sorry, I do have to scan, scan them all. <laughs> there is our little catch of the day, little fishies. Then I've got a winter one here. This would be good to put aside for Christmas gift giving. This is sold 109. It's the polar bear. And next, uh, Miss Chi Chi, we've got your KU going on. <laughs> Chi Chi said, Baby Marty's birthday is tomorrow. Can't believe it's been a year. I know. I know, it just flies by. Next, we have our purple dots, uh, which goes great for our K-State girls. Next is teacups. You could build a, a little teacup themed gift around it. There, there is that. Um, and Chi Chi said, I gave the kitty cat one to my daughter. Here's strawberries and we're picking just a handful of strawberries. This is our first year on our strawberry bed. And um, anyways, we have been able to eat a few, definitely not enough to um, call it a true dessert. <laughs> uh oh, Susan said her card got canceled. We've all been through that too, so she'll have to wait. Well, you can always come back and shop on that. This says All American Barbecue, um, another great summer design. Then we have our baking. Next we have a charcuterie board. This is beautiful if you've got those warm tones in your kitchen, this will look really, really nice. So that is sold 116. And honestly, I'm not gonna go through all of these today because there are so many. I'll do a few more and then um, if you're interested, you can just look up Swedish dish cloth. 
uh, but we'll get we'll get several more here on our on our show today. Here are our peaches. What can those clogs be used for? Oh my goodness! Um, and these these swell up. They come to you just flat as a pancake. Um, this is what I use in place of a dishcloth. They um, they don't get smelly. You can wash them in your washer. Um, they're, they're just great for all kinds of cleaning, but especially just washing dishes, wiping down your sink, wiping your countertops. It takes the place of paper towels. Next, we have our watermelon slices. Again, we've had great summer designs here at the top of the show. Next is another hibiscus design, sold 120. It's a zebra. Whoops. Okay. Next, I have a butterfly. We've talked about butterflies several times since I got home from Dallas uh, because butterflies are, are just, they were just everywhere. Anne said I bought a bunch for stockings last year. They, they just make great gifts. Um, oh, I already did that one. Let's see, maybe, oh, nope, I've got more. I haven't done. Next I have a fall leaves one. They do, they make great little gifts. Okay, hang on just a second. I think I've done a lot of these. Oh, we've got that bakeware one in blue. This is pretty. There's that one if you've got blues in your kitchen. Then I have an apple design. There's that one. Here's another beautiful fall design. There's that. Oh, and this is a cute one too, but it lost its tag. Okay, this is called macrame. It looks like for plant lovers. So there's just about something for everyone in here. Some great designs. Uh, okay, I think I'll leave the rest for another day because y'all are gonna be in a Swedish dishcloth coma if I keep going for a while. But I'll come back to this um, another day. We'll do some more of them. But again, I've given you several options for, um, for gathering up some of those. Okay, then we've got some other kitchen items we're going to talk about today. Um, first out of the gate is this uh, silicone steamer. You, you guys have heard me talk about my steamers <laughs> over and over and over and over again. Um, I do have the smaller one that is perfect for the cauliflower rice individual uh, little packets. This one is basically the same, same premise, but it's bigger. So you can do a whole bag of vegetables or um, you know, asparagus works great in here, green beans. Um, it's just a great little tool to have in your kitchen. Um, they show it to do even like salmon in it. Um, I would say it's about a mm, four cup capacity. Let me see if it tells us. Veggies, fish, dumplings, and more steam to perfection. Uh, blah, blah, blah. It, I don't see where it gives the volume of it, but um, I know it'll do a full bag of vegetables. Cindy says, love my steamers. Yes, these are, when I cleared out my kitchen, these def definitely did not leave. It's something that I use uh, very regularly. Then with it being um, salsa season, it's tomato season. We've got tomatoes, peppers, onions in the garden. Um, this is such a good, um, a good tool for that. This is our dual speed chop and whip so it's got other alternatives in there for you so you've got the chopping blade you've also got the whipping blade like you can do um, whipped cream in there if you want to um, it's it's just a great item it is from the commercial side of prep works so we know it's a heavy duty awesome piece um, 
$30.99, you can make a lot of salsa out of that one. Then we also carry another brand, our Chefin brand, which is very similar. It's a little bit smaller. Hey, Kristen, nice to see you on. This one is $29.99, so you've got a dollar difference in this one. But it's just a different brand. Again, this one is slightly smaller. They both work great, though. They, they just are heavy duty, and you can make several batches of salsa so easy. Just throw in your tomatoes, your peppers, your onions, your cilantro, garlic, whatever you put in your salsa, and it's, gonna, it's going to um, chop it up for you very easily. Then um, I always bring this out during wedding season because I think it's one of the best measuring sets we've ever had. This is the liquid measuring cup plus all your dry measuring plus your teaspoons and tablespoons, all of that. It's a 15-piece magnetic set so it all stays together. You just set it in your drawer or in your cabinet and you've got everything in a very, very compact space. It's $19.99. I just think it makes a great $20 gift for, um, for someone just starting out. Or if you are cleaning out and redoing things and your set is missing, um, <laughs> that just happens at, at our house at least. If you're missing parts or just want to pare your kitchen down to the essentials, this is such a good way to do it. So sold at $130. Um, I know people that have bought this have just loved it. Great design. Okay, then another good, good little item. This is a set of two seasoning keepers. And if you're organizing, this is, this is a good way to go. Um, I know we've gotten some big jars of, season, of like steak seasoning type mixes or I have made my own and don't really have a place to put it. These are perfect to do that in your, in your pantry. Um, so like if you make your own steak seasoning, put it in here, it works great. It has the shaker part, it has the part where you can put a uh, measuring spoon in there, get it out, and you get a set of two, they're $8.99. Okay, next, another fabulous item. This has been on pretty much every order. These are our Snaplock salad. It has some great features in that it has a little tray in the top that you can put your individual, um, like if you put shredded cheese in your salad, by the time you get to work and wait till lunch, that can get soggy. And it's got a place that you can put that separate. It also has a little container in the middle for your salad dressing. And then the bottom part is for your greens. It also snaps down with four snaps very securely. Works great for those of us. I bring my lunch to work every single day and it just, it works really well. Three piece set there. Good, good little item. Then um, my, my mom and dad and my sister Nyla and her family are all going to um, the Branson area to Hollister. And so, and they're gonna do some of their own cooking in their condo. And my mom and dad told me last night that they've got all the hamburgers are made. They're all exactly the same weight and they use their burger press to make them all absolutely perfect. So, <laughs> Whoops, I didn't scan it. So this has two sides. Um, you can make quarter pound or half pound patties um, with this one, just depending on, you flip it over. One side's a little bit smaller, one side is a little bit bigger. They just come right out of there beautifully. It says to use it, press ground meat into the desired side of the burger press. Use the pusher plate to just push it out. It is a really cool item washes right in your dishwasher uh, but it is burger season we are outside we're grilling um, i came home last night and i thought we were having some leftover baby back ribs which would have been great but uh, jack had put a couple of steaks in the smoker he was just hungry for a steak and so came home to some good uh, really good steaks cooked out there pretty pretty awesome 
to go along with that, those burgers. Um, this is, again, a top, top selling item. Um, this is the world's best flippin' burger turner. This works great for even large steaks, um, like salmon, burgers. You can flip two burgers with this easily. It is very well made. It's very stiff and heavy. Um, a great, great, great tool to have um, by your barbecue. Um, all from the world's best collection. And these have stood the test of time. We've, we have sold these for many, many years. Okay, another item that I have both sizes. Chi Chi, me too. I'm sitting here and my stomach is starting to rumble. I can feel it. It's just talking about food. Um, yeah. Next is two items. I've got two different sizes of this one. These are so nice. Those of us that have had um, tongs that have sprung a spring or gotten jammed into a drawer wrong, these are so nice. This is professional grade locking tongs and I have them in two sizes, a 12 inch and a nine inch. I have both of these. I have the nine inch one, a separate one in my camper and then I have both of these for home. Susan said, we use that one when we barbecue. Yes, these are excellent. They're heavy duty. They go down to a nice little point. They lock so they stay locked in your drawer. <coughs> Excuse me. So the first size here is our 12 inch, 14, or excuse me, $15.99 on that one. But they're super nice. They also have silicone on them so you don't burn yourself when you pick them up. <coughs> okay, next we have that 9 inch one. Same exact thing, but just a little bit shorter version. Um, again, I got this one for the camper because my drawers aren't as deep. This one is just $13.99, and again, such a, such a good tool. Um, you know, when, you're, <laughs> when your husband goes and buys tools, they usually buy the best, and we try to bring that to you as well. <coughs> Speaking of the best, and something I'm using all the time, every single day right now, is my Euro Scrubbies. So I often talk about Euro Scrubbies when it comes to, I have one that's set aside in my utensil drawer that I do for like potatoes, sweet potatoes, carrots, and just wash them down, scrub them down. That way I don't have to peel them. Um, these work great for cleaning. I keep them in, um, in my bathroom cleaning kit and I keep them in my kitchen for cleaning as well. But right now what I'm using them for is cucumbers. <clears throat> so we grew, I think, four varieties of cucumbers, and a couple of them are just really spiny. And so when you go to pick them, I wear gloves to pick them. I bring them into the kitchen, put them in water, and scrub them with my Euro scrubby, and it takes all those little little uh, spines off of them. But it, it just works great right now for those of you that are growing cucumbers. Roxanne says, my husband was just playing with my new slicer, and I said, hey, that's my new tool. <laughs> so, there is Miss Pat hopping on late. She said, that is A-OK. -okay. You'll get no guilt from us. You guys are making me hungry, hungry, hungry there. Okay, so this first one is the set of three for $10.99. It is definitely your best deal. When we buy more, we get a slightly better price, and so we do try to pass that on to you, as always. Next, we have the Singles, and this is our Single Euro Scrubby. If you've never bought one, here's a great way to try it and fall in love with it. So, singly, they are $4.50, um, but they work, they work beautifully. <clears throat> Then this next one, I think this is just one and lonely only. This is a little mini keeper and it pops out. It's made of silicone, so it's very easy to use. Great for, um, you know, taking things to work, for, for
for your lunch. It is a one cup, I believe. Uh, let me just be sure. I, it looks like a one cup, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that. Next, I brought um, some different sizes of our awesome cookie scoops, and we'll go smallest to biggest. Our first one is a one tablespoon. And I love that they show that with making deviled eggs because we do make deviled eggs quite a bit since we have our own chickies. Um, this is a, again, a professional grade um, one tablespoon. Are these dishwasher safe? Yes. I don't know if they say dishwasher safe, but they go in my dishwasher. Uh, let's see. Yes, there it is, right on the package, dishwasher safe. Everything I've been talking about um, goes in the dishwasher. <laughs> Pam, Pat says, my last scrubby is looking kind of sickly. It's time to replace. And I do put my Euro scrubbies right in the top rack of the dishwasher to clean them. Um, I think it just gives them a little extra, <laughs> a little extra. Okay, June is the code. Okay, so the first one, again, one tablespoon for that one. Then I have the one and a half tablespoon, and this they show for perfect cookies. This does make a nice uh, two and a half inch cookie. Pop-up bowls, <laughs> yes. So sold 141, it is 15.99. Again, these are just so well made. They work beautifully, and, and I have I have every size when it comes to cookie scoops. Next, I have our larger size, and this is, I believe this is a one-third cup. <coughs> Sold 142. Uh, I've got some spell check issues going on with some of your message. Connie said, I always think it would have been nice if I had so Raj. I'm not sure. <laughs> So sold 142 is for your like monster cookie size, just works beautifully. This one also works well if you're going to make larger meatballs. Um, great size for that. Then another teeny tiny tool that I would never be without. These are our little scrapers. They're just $2.99. Um, oh. There we go. Pat says, wow, so is my Swedish dishcloths. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they have to be replaced um, occasionally. So our little scrapers, these, um, these work even on your nonstick skillets. If you happen to forget something and burn, burn it on there, these just work great for so many things in cleaning. Um, I do keep one of these in my bathroom cleaning as well so I don't mix up my bathroom and my kitchen things, but um, great to just scrape little hard water stains. There's many, many, many uses for this. And again, it is something that will need to eventually be replaced because they get used a lot. This lives right at my sink and I use it all the time. <laughs> I know, Kathy, it's such a mystery. It's such a mystery. What will I choose for tomorrow? A four letter word that means July. <laughs> Uh, Connie said, oops, it would have been nice if I had all these gadgets when I was cooking for my family. Now by myself, I love gadgets. I feel a little spoiled. You know, I, yeah, I like good tools. Even when I went through the kitchen and pared things way down, I, I still have, I have very nice tools in the kitchen. <laughs> I just like that. Um, Jerry said, I'm using my chop and stir from you on hamburger for old settlers beans. Yes, it works great on three pounds of burger. Yes, that is another fabulous item. I didn't bring it today, but, but, um, yeah, very good. Okay, next, another fabulous item, and I'm going to have to, I got to speed up. We might have to come back to more kitchen in a little bit. I mean, another day. This is that awesome taco shovel. This is good for so many things other than tacos, but it is perfectly shaped for putting meat into your taco shells. It is great for that, but it is a wonderful tool for just browning ground beef. It is silicone um, coated metal, so it's nice and stiff. It is not wobbly at all. 
Um, it is a fabulous tool, and I love this, and I love it for a lot of things other than tacos. So, um, great item. They're $9.99. Very, very well made. Okay, I'll do one more kitchen thing, and then we're going to move on to some other things, because otherwise we're going to run out of time. This is that collapsible bowl storage set. Um, we've sold these for a long time. I didn't have one myself till we got our camper, and it is a great way to store your bowls in a tight space. Um, these pop out, and so when you need them, they are fabulous, but for storage, they just pop right back into each other, and they store so, so nicely in the camper. So that is sold $145. They are $24.99 and just a great set. And that's a set of three. Um, let me see if it gives you, yeah. Uh, one 1 1.5 cup, a three cup, and a five cup. So it really gives you some nice sizes there. Oh my goodness, I hadn't thought of this, Barbara. She said those 12 inch tongs were a lifesaver for me to reach hard to pick up items on the floor after my back surgery. The uh, traditional grabber doesn't work on everything. Um, that is a good idea, very good idea. Those of you that have had back surgery or that sh shoulder surgery is another one that you, you wanna have those grabbers before, before you go in for your surgery. Um, Jerry says, so good. She's talking about the old settler beans. Yeah, sounds delicious. I don't think my recipe is called Old Settlers, but it has lots of hamburger in it, and it's delicious. Haven't made those in a long time. Sounds, sounds yummy. Okay, we'll come back to some of those other kitchen items later. Um, I'm going to sell our table back here. I've got um, a display table, and it is 48... Okay, first of all, it is pickup only, can't ship that one. It is under clearance, so your coupon will not work, but it's a deal. <laughs> so, it is a used sofa table. It does have scratches on the top of the wood that we have not tried to fill in, like with um, wood stain. It has been used, but I think it'll really clean up nicely for someone's home. It is um, iron on the bottom, it's got a nice medallion design. And once I scan it, you'll be able to read the um, the dimensions of it. I think it is 48 wide or close to that. Barbara, our coupon code today is June, and that will work till midnight tonight. So our used display table, $35 for that table. And um, it's nice. Whoever gets it is going to get a nice... <laughs> oh my, what will you use? We, Sandra, we have not used this table in a long time. So, um, yeah, we just, we don't, I'm using it today. It looks really nice. I'll use it to, till whoever bought it picks it up, but um, it just, it, we just aren't using it. So we are moving, moving it out. So, okay, next, we've got some other <laughs> wonky clearance items. So this is um, a set of blackout curtains. I know, I don't know why we even own this, <laughs> but you're gonna get a deal on it. These are 84 inch long a set. There's a set of two blackout curtains. I don't know the width of them, but it's your standard curtain size. Uh, we have this for $3. So if you need blackout curtains in your home. Dorothy, it is glass top. Sorry, I know it's difficult to see. Glass top with wood on the perimeter, and then this is made out of metal. The bottom part is metal. So it's been a great item to have when the store was open, but um, yeah, we're just not using it, so it's time for that to go. Next, whoops, is our quote sign. It says, whoops, whoops. You're going to have to re-glue the little inside. I'll show it to you first because we have it for quite quite a deal. It says, may our, may our home be blessed with love and happiness. Again, it is something you can touch up a little bit or put your own thing in there. Um, and we have this for $1. 
one dollar pickup only we cannot chip it but one dollar and i'm sure you could take it out and use the frame for for whatever else how tall is the table it is in the description jana i i can't remember um but it is in the description then we have some of our um a rider boots Um, this is our faux suede um, boots. We have these for $2.99. Um, these are pickup only. We will not ship them because uh, they'll cost, you know, $12 to $15 to ship. Uh, we have size six and a half, seven, and size eight. So there are those. They've got a little stretchy panel on the side. Very cute, beautiful olive color. Then this other pair really is cute too. This is our clay snake natural booties. Again, very, very cute. And this one we have sizes six, six and a half, seven, and five and a half. So there they are. Again, pickup only. My apologies, but we're, we just can't, can't ship a $2.99 pair of shoes could you add the boots to an existing order? Um, Vernita, I probably could take them out of the box, not ship the box, put them in with some other things. Um, I, I bet we can do that, but we can't just ship one pair of the boots. So, okay. Next, I have this, and this is awesome stuff. Uh, this is handcrafted lip balm maybe huh okay let me try to type it in okay here we go this is our Bella B balm um, lip lip balm B Bella lip balm we have it in pomegranate, vanilla, lavender, and peppermint. These were $7.99. We have marked them down to $2.99. And they're in a beautiful hand handcrafted wooden case. These are the nicest people. And um, I'm, I'm just sad that this did not sell well because I would have loved to continue to support these guys. Um, they have a passion for bees and so do I have a passion for bees. Um, I want to see bees reestablished um, across the Midwest here. Um, but wasn't meant to be, so we are clearing it out at just $2.99. But they are so nice. So, so, so nice. So whoever gets those, enjoy them. Okay, where am I going next? I gotta think for a second. Where am I? Where am I at? <laughs> okay, I, I'm going this way. Hold on, let me reset just a little bit. Okay, then I had Abby go in and mark down some remaining t-shirts. These are all across the seasons. This one is Merry and Bright by Sassy Frask. We've marked this to $10. Of course, Sassy Frask is a great t-shirt company. You're getting a long sleeve tee, beautiful colors. I've got a medium and two extra large, $10. Next, um, from Southern Couture. This is our jingle in your jangle. Put a little jingle in your in your jangle from Southern Couture. Very fun, whimsical. I have one available. It is an XL, great Christmas shirt. I know it's 100 degrees out, but you're getting a fabulous deal on these today.
This next one is called Side Chick. This design on this one is on the front. It is sold 154. I have this left in large and XL. Perfect to wear to your Thanksgiving dinner or all through November. Side Chick, it is super cute. And you know, I could wear that to the Amish chicken auction as well. I've got my I've got my chicken shirt on today to go to the go to the auction. <laughs> So that is sold 154. Okay, next I have Christmas movies, etc., etc. Christmas movies, warm cookies, fuzzy socks, cozy pajamas, hot chocolate. This is from Highway 828, another fabulous brand, great shirts. Um, we have this in sizes extra large and 2x XL and 2x ladies remember on these clearance things only put in your cart things you plan to purchase uh, we want to be fair to everyone <laughs> and um, if you just cart a lot of things um, and don't check out it 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 complicates things. Cindy said there is a chicken auction. Yes, it's in Yoder, Kansas um, and it's the last Friday of every month and it is always interesting and they have wonderful pie. <laughs> they have uh, Yoder has a bake sale that goes on on Friday afternoons um, like a farmers market is going on um, and then the chicken auction starts at four o'clock and goes sometimes till midnight. Now, we are not there that long. I don't have the patience for that. And um, yeah. Okay, this next one is our um, Marion Bright, and it's got this cute little camper on it. Um, I've got size large and 2X. Large and 2X. Just a couple more here. Oh, that's the same one. This one I own. <laughs> this one is from Girly Girl Originals. It's got a great front little design, but then it's just got that joy on the back. Again, just another great design. Cindy said, thank you, I need chickens. Well, I might see you there, girl. <laughs> they have lots of chickens, lots and lots and lots and lots. And last month I got someone that owns a greenhouse had brought their extra flowers and I think I spent like 50 or I think it was $54 and I got enough flowers to do all of my all of my containers in the front of our house um, and actually I I had so many extra I planted planters of things I hadn't planted in years <laughs> so I got some great great buys at the chicken auction and we got three baby kitties there too um, so again another good one and it looks like that one is sold out Okay, this is my last one for today and this one says don't make me text Santa <laughs> this one I have three larges available but don't don't make me text Santa great great little fun thing for Christmas okay I think that's where we're going to end for today. I'm looking around. I, I have plenty more I could go, but I think we'll save for tomorrow. And um, we'll just be back here at 9 a.m.-ish. Uh, we might be a little ahead. We might be a little later. And, you know, Patty is in, in the throes of moving. And I just said, when you get here, we'll start. Don't worry about it. So, um Okay, any questions before I go? Um, if you're not going to be around tomorrow, kimonos tomorrow? Yep, we have kimonos for tomorrow. We have some new ones. Uh, Kathy said, I must let the table go. It won't fit. Okay, let me rescan the table. So thanks for letting me know. <laughs> Thank you, Vernita. You have a great afternoon as well. Um, okay, maybe someone else had that in their cart as well. So the sofa table, nope, it says we have one left. So $35 on the sofa table back here. 
and it's a great it's a great buy for someone so uh, Peggy we will be here till three o'clock today three o'clock on Fridays can you scan the shirt behind you that's burgundy and black we can this is uh, we were gonna have this on tomorrow but we can absolutely do it oh that's the sample disregard because we sorry we still have these to sell um, this is sold 160 it is 26.99 comes in three different colors mid gray wine and navy this is the wine 26.99 and we'll be trying this on for you tomorrow would the table hold a large tv it uh, depends on how large. Check the measurements, Jana, because I don't have my tape measure up here. Um, but, I, you know, there's some ginormous TVs, but it would hold a, I think, a very large TV. Kathy said, hated to let it go. Yeah, it is, it, it is a nice piece. Somebody's getting a steal on that piece. Um, Susie said, Patty should get it. Um... <laughs> Well, I think Patty's going to get settled and just kind of see what, see what she is still going to need. Uh, let's see. Anybody else? Cindy said, have a great rest of your day. Thank you, thank you. Roxanne said, great steals and deals. I'll pick up next Thursday when I come. Absolutely. And we're so excited you're going to be here. Um, I'll just say that one more time if you hopped on late. We're gonna do a little meet and greet breakfast at the Mustard Seed. Um, we love seeing you here online, but we really love seeing you in real life person. It is, um, it is always a blast when we get together. It's a couch table. Uh, Benita said, I have my 65 inch on a glass table. Wowza, wowza, wowza. <laughs> on a couch table, there you go. Okay, ladies, have a great rest of your day. Again, we're here today until 3 o'clock for order pickups. Tomorrow we're here from 10 to noon. And uh, then we wish you a great 4th of July weekend. Um, and we'll see you back here next week, regular hours on Wednesday. So, and Dorothy says, yay, quiche. Yes, <laughs> yes. Quiche, so good down at the mustard seed, seriously. Is it Wednesday or Thursday? It's going to be on Thursday, Dorothy. Um, yeah, we just thought, I, I did not want to put it off any longer. It's been about six weeks, and I'm trying to do it about once a month. So it's been a while since we've gotten together, and I wanted to, I wanted to get together. So Thursday is the day, 8.30-ish. If you're coming a little early, we'll be there a little bit early and uh, would, would love to have you. If you've never come, maybe this would be a great thing to do this next week. So, okay, ladies, we'll see you tomorrow. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.